years. Someone at BYU's biggest game of the year now testing positive for coronavirus. What fans need to know if they were in the stands. We want them to feel peace knowing that we have a plan, that we are prepared. Local hospitals preparing for the worst. We go inside special tents set up at the University of Utah. Why health officials believe their key to preventing the spread of the virus. We're doing the best we can to fly this plane. Clearly, we're hitting turbulence. Worry on Wall Street. The biggest Dow drop since 2008. Coronavirus fears make for uncertainty in the stocks. This is breaking news on 2 News. Thanks for being with us. Just into the newsroom in the last hour, BYU says a fan at one of their basketball games has now tested positive for coronavirus. So here's what we know right now. BYU was contacted by the Utah County Health Department saying this individual attended the basketball game back on February 22nd against Gonzaga. According to the health department, the individual had mild symptoms. So what does that mean for people that were at that game? There were a lot of people packed into the Marriott Center. It was a huge game. That's right, a big win for BYU. That that night, the Utah County Health Department says as a precaution, people that were seated within six feet of this individual, they'll be contacted by the health department. Health officials are going on to say that they're contacting individuals who had close contact with the diagnosed patient in order to determine their potential exposure. People that were at the game and that don't receive a call are not considered to be at risk and do not need to take any further action at this point. So a reminder, though, state health officials that have designated a hotline for anyone with concerns or questions about this virus, that number, it's on your screen right there, 1-800-456-7707. And right now, this is a live look inside the White House. The podium is set for a briefing with the Coronavirus Task Force. It is led by the Vice President Mike Pence. When it starts, we'll bring it to you live right here on Channel 2. And so let's catch you up on the latest developments here in this country. The death toll has now risen to more than 20, and the number of coronavirus cases has now topped 500. Meanwhile, the pandemic is making investors anxious, very anxious on Wall Street. Trading in the U.S. had to be briefly halted after stocks plummeted today. Lastly, three members of Congress, they are now under self-quarantine after coming into contact with people possibly carrying the virus.